Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Cooler Master Master Liquid 240 Atmos. Cooler Master did send me this cooler, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging right here. Very premium design. Feels a little more upscale than most of their other cooler packaging, especially when we see this nice profile shot of it on the side of the box. So I'm really liking what they've done with this. And you'll see on the back, we have all of our tech specs here and some common applications at the bottom that it's gonna be able to work with. But if you're wondering, the latest Intel and AMD will be supported with this cooler. You'll see all of our sockets up here though, LJ1700 and AM5. You legacy people out there, whether it's 1200 or 1151 or AM4 or even AM3, don't worry, you'll be covered as well. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are the contents. First up, you'll find three boxes categorized based on which socket you're gonna use. So if you're team AMD, that's gonna be your box. If you're team Intel, that's gonna be your box. And regardless of which box you choose, you'll be using the contents in this final box as well. So here's a peek inside the AMD box, all of your contents there with some quick instructions. Ta-da! Here's the Intel box. Ta-da! And then here's our last box and everything that's included. We've got some product literature there, manual QR code, warranty information you'll see on the back side. There's our thermal paste, some additional parts for us. And we have basically our hub and control panel right there. So everything we need clearly labeled for us in those boxes. I really like that packaging. And then lastly, you'll see we have the AIO itself with the fans already installed. I did not do that. It came that way, which is great. So all of our hookups right here, you'll see our different cable connection options, RGB in for the fan. And then you'll see additional RGB and our basically four pin connector right there for the pump. On the bottom, grease it, then remove it. So they're showing you how to go ahead and do that during the installation. And you'll see our protective cover right here with our Atmos logo and branding and our Cooler Master logo. Can't wait to see everything illuminated and powered on. Give you the look at the radiator from all different sides and angles. And our two fans already installed. Now let's go ahead, let's get this set up and installed. All right, our computer's built, our cooler's installed. Let's check it out up close. Look at that cooler front and center. It's really the focal point of this build. That cover looks amazing on there with its glow and diffusion of the light. Cooler Master's logo and branding. We got the Atmos logo and branding on there. I put these clips on, not really sure aesthetically what the right option is there, but I thought it'd be fun to try them out. You'll probably have a better use or an actual use for them than I would, but you can see how we did that right there. Nice little feature, depending on again, what you're trying to accomplish. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. And looking at the very top, our radiator with our two installed fans, beautiful RGB again. They're very quiet very bright, perfect complement and accent for our build. You'll also see our connection options here on the motherboard, how we routed everything RGB to one header. That's on the right hand side of your screen. And then you'll see on the left hand side, we have two headers here for our CPU fans and our pump. Continuing on to the back side, you'll see up at the top how we have everything tidied up right there. Tucked up and out of the way. The rest of our cables down at the bottom. All right, you're looking at live hardware monitoring of our AMD 7600X CPU at idle speed. So near minimum utilization here. You're seeing a current temp of around 37 degrees Celsius at our idle speeds. And keep in mind, this particular CPU is designed to hit that 95 degrees Celsius threshold and maintain that temperature. It won't go any higher, so it won't damage your CPU. Currently, we're showing up to around 4.8 gigahertz 
when our CPU is showing its different speed cycling through task manager there. You'll see anywhere between 4.2 basically and five gigahertz. But again, this is just chilling along at a nice slow idle everything's steady and where it should be. So now let's go ahead and stress it out. All right, so the CPU is holding up great with this cooler here. You'll see that it doesn't take very long to hit that max 95 degrees Celsius threshold, but don't worry, it's designed to run up until that point. So you can expect that with any cooler here. What's nice to see at this 100% utilization is we're still above the base clock speed of 4.7. You're seeing that we're at that 4.9 gigahertz range still, even at that 95 degrees Celsius mark. Also, if you're wondering how loud this cooler is, don't worry, the cooler is very, very quiet. I've never heard the pump or anything like that. I haven't heard any water trickling or water flow or anything along those lines. At 100% utilization, though you will hear the cooler because we have our two fans revved up and spinning. So that's going to be the only noise you would ever hear. If it's under a stressful load like this, those fans will start to kick up. But anything else would be a surprise to us that you would experience. Nothing else is making any sort of sound. All right, so we're looking at the cooler through our FLIR camera to get a feel for what you can expect temp-wise. And look at that, not even 90 degrees over the CPU on the cooler. It's been running for almost 20 minutes, completely maxed out at 95 degrees Celsius, so great to see. And then we'll move right along here, try to check some of the temp on the tubes. Nice and cool as well. And you'll see the fans up at the top. And we can go to the very top. Nice and warm as we're exhausting out a lot of that warm air. And underneath, you'll see those fans. The bearings are going to be warm, about 100 degrees. But everything else in that 90 degree temp range or even less. So beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I really like the look and aesthetic of the Cooler Master Master Liquid Atmos. Really a capable cooler that looks great and works great.